I I don't think I have been led on. Have you led someone on though? I, you have so <laughs> no you can't read me off my feet and tell me you don't like me you can't read me off no i mean i'm just comfortable talking to you your mind <laughs> tell me when is my last break <laughs> most of those girls sorry to say are surprising and some of them you feel you should go and ask god for the clay he used <laughs> So joining me today, I have with me here Joseph and Hepzibah. You guys are welcome to do you with the Senam. Can Thank you say hi? Hi everyone. So on today's episode, we are talking about conversations we hardly have in the church. When it comes to the youth and love and our assumptions about love in the church today, let me start with you, ladies first. I mean, I'm not being biased though, but That's yeah, fine. what do you think, Hepzibah? Okay. So I'll first of all like to say that mm -hmm. in as much as we say God is love mm -hmm. and we have very pure intentions okay. and parents have very good intentions for their children and the shield in them mm -hmm. but there, there are wrong approaches with which they use to protect them mm -hmm. so growing up children are made to think that love is such a bad thing Oh, and relationships are painted as it's for bad children, children. It's for bad people. Oh. And so in the church, I'm referring to the church, people in the church remain very ignorant or end up receiving a lot of information from the world. Wow. And when it seeps into the church, you're seen as a very carnal person, even if you try to approach it the right way. Mm. So you have a lot of the young people hiding um behind uh the curtain <laughs> yeah let's say behind the curtain <laughs> and doing things and doing things yes without letting adults know no. without seeking counsel um to do things properly because the notion is if you go and mention to anyone that oh you like somebody eh, I probably, I probably what's say, what's say. Say. <laughs> just uh, what are your thoughts on this assumptions about christian youth and love in fact i think the concept of love is godly and so um, we are mostly centered on some aspects of it, how we relate with each other, um, whether or not we are sexually attracted to one particular person or people. And, and that's, that's what has brought the problem. Mm. But like Hezebel was saying, um, the fact that it isn't spoken about right from our childhood days and even in the church has uh, made it seem as though we, we, I mean, we've always found ourselves wanting to learn from it from the wrong sources instead of okay. it being taught, I mean, in the very beginning in our churches and all that. So we end up uh, learning some or the counterfeit aspect of what it is. Mm. And then we tend to want to apply it and think that we are doing That is the hard. right thing to do. And I think that from the beginning, just as we were taught little things from our childhood days in our Sunday schools, okay. if we are being taught about love, our relationship with others, how we express them, I think it will do us some more. So talking about the wrong ways we approach love, let's look at or focus on the leading on <laughs> culture. <laughs> Christian brother in the church oh and Christian God. sister in the church. I mean, this leading on thing, how does it even happen in the first place? At what point can I say, mm, Joseph is leading me on? Ha. <laughs> yeah, who wants to go first? Yeah, I, I think, think I'll go first, yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> don't do ladies first all the time. But, no, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll go first. So okay. I think, I think probably we should talk about what leading on culture is. Mm -hmm. Leading on culture is probably like painting a picture that is not the actual scene. Or like okay. giving something like a mirage, letting someone imagine something that is not reality as their reality. Does it also so, have to do with the pleasing factor whereby people see both of you and they are like, oh, these guys, they are like, they look good. They are. That wouldn't really give us the lean non culture. Mm -hmm. The lean non culture is more like you spend so much time with a person. Oh, okay. It's like a person sometimes. I would say it's mostly intentional. Sometimes it's really, mostly, yeah, it's mostly intentional. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to plan to lead you on. I mean, ah. how would I? Oh, come on, plan. Okay, so for example, yeah, you like you. You realize someone likes you. Okay. You don't really like the person, mm -hmm. but you're enjoying the attention. The vibe and all that. And, and, and you are you are aware that oh. whatever it is. 
it's platonic on your side. Side. You are aware it's not platonic on the, on the other, other side. side. But you you act ignorant. Oh, you okay. act like okay, like this how it is. So you call just... the person still, you still have very long conversations. You do all those things and then sister, later on sister. you go like, Oh, <laughs> I guess my brother <laughs> Brother in the law. Um, Have so you ever experienced yeah, yeah, that before? Be, no, no, guys Joseph. also do it ladies as well. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> personally, yeah. I, I don't think I have been led on. Have you led someone on though? I, you have. So I, I think it's, no, no, I, I'm not saying yes, neither am I saying no. But I think usually it comes from how, who is is looking at it or which angle it is coming from. It's coming from. from. Ha, you, you know, I told you that from the basics. We've not really gotten the basics. Mm. So till date, someone still thinks or a sex still thinks that the male should rather do the approach. Approach, yeah. I mean, and, and, and for some of us, I like the flow when the flow is good. Oh, okay. When your communication is good, uh-huh. I would like to communicate with you. you. I would love to discuss whatever issue, how your day went and all that. I mean, Isn't that wouldn't that necessarily be... Would that Must be? it be no? Okay. I mean, do you get it? So I even think when you know that maybe this person actually likes you. At what point do you? I mean, we we like you. You tend okay. to like each other because of certain <laughs> traits in the pe- person. person or people. You get it. So as for the leading on, I think it is um, how you see it, mm-hmm. and not not necessarily what is going on, because like I said. I have so many people I have long conversations with. Really? We discuss um, serious issues. Um, intentionally, we create conversations and topics and all that. So I don't expect that um, at another point I will stand somewhere and say, because we are doing all these things, I am leading you, you on or on she's on. leading me on. Oh. Huh. And it still boils down to the fact that we haven't gotten the basics. Because oh. if we grew up to understand that, I mean, it is okay to have conversations with other people yourselves your peers your colleagues and all that Mm -hmm. i don't think the leading on culture will be a problem if it's different if you are doing it with a lot of maybe you know like being a church and you are like that with a whole lot of people but if you are like quite let me say separated from everyone else Mm -hmm. but you seem to be like giving one particular person a lot of attention Attention. Mm -hmm. there is the there's a i mean like after service you are seeing her all um, you make sure you can save a seat beside her. I'm calling her bestie, bestie. And it's like, <laughs> after, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, like if, if you buy anything, you get some for them. Yeah. You are always spending time. And you guys like have late night conversations. Sometimes you be like, okay, let's pray about this. Look, once it starts bringing these <laughs> things in, I'm being very honest. Okay. I'm being very honest. Uh-huh. You, you've taken a lot of the person's time. Wow. Okay. And you know, like a lot of people around us will surely like draw her mind or her attention onto the fact that you are spending a lot of time mm-hmm. with her. If yeah. you guys are not with any intentions to date or anything, and you guys are not even in a relationship, either neither of you are in relationships, yeah. you are, you are, one of you is definitely planting something, something. in the other person's head. Oh. Whether you know it or not, you are definitely doing, doing something. Doing it, consciously or unconsciously. Yes. Wow. And unless like, you actually make it clear that, oh, that's my brother. But okay. even with those things, look. It does, still, does it work? <laughs> and I think that is where the challenge is. Um, we, we are not able to make your intentions clear. clear. Just imagine the way I relate to you. Oh, okay. I relate to a guy in the same way. way. He might end up thinking, ah, oh, why is he feeling you? I mean... The way you be texting, the way you be checking on a person, the way you be like. So okay, in this case, what do I do? Do I have to set the line straight, brother? I'm just you know having these conversations with you because I see you as a brother or a sister in the Lord, or what? There are ways you do it. If if I'm if I'm relating with Joseph in a certain way, the same way I relate with anyone else. But once I now but make it look like he's he's more like my. Buddy, buddy. If he comes anywhere, like there's no one expecting to sit with anyone else apart from the queen. Yeah. She gets like people have already. It's it's, it's like you have already marked the person as your territory. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you still insist that oh you nothing is doing. You, you, know. you wait until once the person now makes an approach and says, oh um I think like we should take our friendship to the next to the level. Next like, level. Um, which next level? <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Sometimes is this. We feign ignorance mm. as though we don't know. 
and then when the person did someone feels disappointing you're like eh. or you, you, you genuinely just don't like the person so no, if you don't have feelings don't see the person on don't don't engage in long conversation. Don't call her as at eleven pm. Why do you want to be your friend? If you want to be my friend, why do you call me at eleven pm, twelve pm? Man, why do you also entertain them? That I mean, he gets it. No, no, because because he gives you the idea. I'm saying he's painting a mirage. If mm. he's aware that he doesn't have feelings for you, he should not push it. Push it. The more you well, do it, if she is interested, look, mm. she'll allow you to go on having such conversations. But but at such odd yeah. hours. But can we also can we also think there's um. I mean, if we were to have those conversations, I'm sure by all means um, we would be thought that not every of that kind of a relationship would lead into something serious. Yeah. yeah. So that we don't end up um, leaving the church, church and, all, and that. all of that. Yeah. I mean, things happen. We should just take it at one of those things. Yeah. I mean, experiences. Mm. Or, I mean, you are just not meant for each for other. For each other. I mean, some friendships are best when they stay at friendship level. level once you want to push it to the next feather it becomes something, something else, else. Uh-huh. So and then i also learned that everybody comes into your life at a point in time to purpose. accomplish a purpose exactly once the person is done the person leaves or something else yeah. happens and then mm-hmm. you guys so most of those friendships 11 o'clock midnight calls and all of that <laughs> free night that. Call. <laughs> no you can't rid me of my ah, sleep and tell me you don't like me. you can't rid me of no I mean, I'm just comfortable talking to yeah, you. Your mind told me when is my last break. <laughs> anyway, no, so but I think even at, during those times, you get the most attention of her or him yeah, or something. Yeah, so. probably the network will be better when I speak to you around 11, 12. Three yeah, after one. You get it after alpha hour. Hey. After then alpha hour. Then we're we'll going to revelations. <laughs> you're calling me and you're like, okay. I don't know my spirit you should pray about. Don't be hey. sharing such things with me if you're not interested in dating. I see. Oh, wow. No. Don't now, like, you know, like, something bothers you. Like, okay, let's pray. Or, like, maybe I have a... Because the more you do, now the person, most of the time... Okay, so I'll share an experience with a friend of mine who said, um, with, well, they're married now. Mm-hmm. So with her husband, one thing that drew her closer was the fact that she could, you know, share a lot of her fears with, with him. Me. Oh wow! And if you are someone, someone has become this vulnerable to you. You, yeah. you, 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 you have let her on. You, you've actually given her an idea, and you've constantly been there, yeah. like you've been solid, not as a French, not just as a friend. Mm. There, there are ways you realize that the thing has gone beyond French. No okay. one, yes, you true. know, it, it's not, it's not like we are just imagining it. It's, it's real. Wow, then it will be best to say you just have to know yourself and then set boundaries. You set your own boundaries rather than leading people. Yeah, so what do you do when you think, like, okay, for this while I've realized that I'm leading Joseph on? What do I do? I think you should just have a conversation about it. Um, if it's um, a case where the other person realizes that he or she has been led on, Mm -hmm. I mean, let's talk about it. so what did you do? you think you have led him on and he is just oblivious to whatever you do? Yes. That is when so, the conversation... <laughs> that would be very awkward. I mean... I think that is when the conversation comes in. in. I mean, let's talk about it. There isn't anything that you can't have a conversation around. Well, that would be very awkward. I mean, like, awkward. like... He's not... Like, yeah, he's not even thinking just, about that. Yeah, and, and you just come up and you see, oh... Charlie, am I leading you? I realize that I... Like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> What's happening? Sorry, what's going but on? we should also learn to, I mean, just accept things for what they what are. They are. So if we should talk about it and that is it, I mean, let's just accept it and then. Then that's it. Yeah, it's not. It's not that easy, but mm-hmm. I think it's better. So moving on, the next thing I would like us to talk about briefly before we end this episode is the kind of unrealistic you know imaginations and thoughts and conceptions we have when it comes to relationship mm. with the christian youths of today is mind-blowing okay. have you ever come across anybody who is like okay this is how i want my relationship to be and the person is in the church and you're like what are you actually born again <laughs> have you ever come across somebody like that i mean the youth today is like that and I, I think it's it's mainly because of what we are prone to, mm. the information available. Yeah, 
um, most especially the kind of movies or series we are watching. Oh man! I mean, <laughs> and it's sad because for a person like me, I understand that that is somebody's imagination Very about sure. something, and so I don't expect that. I mean, it might work for you, mm-hmm. but not for everybody. everybody. And and I think that is that is the the, the baseline. That is. That is it. And most of those girls, sorry to say, are surprising. And some of them, you feel you should go and ask God for the clay he used. And then present that Seriously, to him. That. Because we are human. Of I course. Mean, and in God's creation, he created everybody and said it was good. Mm-hmm. But he made sure that, I don't know, but I think that not everything was so perfect. Just so you could get somebody to compliment you. Gee, you could okay. get him to do this for you at this time. Uh, so having to I get a certain feeling about how our relationship should, should be, be like, and all that and mostly we don't even tend to involve God do you think it's unrealistic I mean okay, I think unrealistic comes in from like just as said so our influences um, in the past let me say in the past our mothers, our fathers, some of them even had Fully arranged marriages. Yeah. They just arranged. They didn't they even know. They didn't even know the person mm-hmm, before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the marriages were. Wait. I think um, with the influences we have now, they didn't have. Mm-hmm. We had, they, they, their major influence was the Bible yeah. and Christian books. Mm-hmm. We have telenovelas, mm-hmm. we have different <laughs> Christian, different series. Series, mm-hmm. Korean series. drama we have and stuff. These, um, um, books. That are the new motivational novels that are this thing. We have these days YouTube, TikTok. Um, we are getting all our information from the internet and from people. Except the Bible. Yeah, celebrities, apart from the Bible. And so you feel like all the Bible talks about relationships is why submit. Yeah. And, you know, like, love and this time around, and no fornication and no sex and before like, oh, like, <laughs> the yeah. yeah. and, and because of these things, we, we actually now don't have a particular template to follow, yeah, because we are refusing to follow the Bible. And even the people in the world don't have a particular template. We so a person who is lost now goes to pick from here, pick from here, pick from here says okay and they become very indecisive yeah. so they don't even know what they want yeah. most of us most of us don't know what we want it's like today we want it this way so and then nice. tomorrow we see another kind and you're like okay no, i don't mind the way to blend it no. yeah. yes. as much as possible if we go back to what the bible says and that's why um there are some things in the bible we probably wouldn't even see for ourselves no matter yeah. how many times we, we read it it's that true. is why we also have anointed christian books on relationships yeah. and many youth will not read from them Mm-mm. they will rather read from non-christian motivational speakers mm-hmm. who speak about relationships mm-hmm. and we feel like they are the most experienced people like they don't yes we feel like maybe they wouldn't because we are not revealing the real the thing reality. yes so we should leave the word and then focus on the reality. But the reality is God, man. Like, yeah. That's the reality. Yeah. So what are you going to put aside and then focus and on the And you know, the, the thing too about this is when, when parents are buying books for their children, all they buy is other books you're using to study. Yeah. Or books about, I mean, studies and being a good... Nothing about relationship. relationship. <laughs> children do not receive the right information mm-hmm. on time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These days, mm-hmm. if you watch these um, Christian um, children shows now, we have these things with LGBT floating in here. A and lot of just it. Just a lot of it. Mm-hmm. And children are watching. watching. So you could even have a child today who, as young as they are in JHS, feels like she is running behind. Mm-hmm. She's run, yeah, the time is running out on her because she's not dating, because she watches series and children in grade four. I already, already did. Oh. Already have excess. <laughs> Not- <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, they've, they've already gone through breakups and they are crying and that kind of thing. And they're like, oh, like, as a, as a market tree. Yes. Huh. Joseph, yeah. would you say that for those Christian, you know, ladies in the church who are of age, you know that mm, this person must get married, but. And all of that. Would you say it's because of their, I mean, 
their wrong assumptions about the things they really want in a man or its character what do you think um, being of age from the bible i think that only the bible tells you when you're of age or not mm. uh-huh. so i mean the leading of the holy spirit mm. he when it's time he brings the right person, person to you so how long are you going to wait for to know that <laughs> it's time or not i mean time? For, for others because let's say mm-hmm. like realistically right now you propose to me i'm waiting on the leading of the holy spirit he holy proposes spirit. i'm waiting on the leading of the holy i mean to when okay you don't go oh. out <laughs> no 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 so i don't, you don't go out that. there to... this is what i think uh-huh. that um you prepare for it do you get it? So as a okay. lady or as a young man, you prepare for it. If there are certain things that you are supposed to be doing, how many books have you read on marriages? How mm. many books have you read on relationship? How many people have you spoken to? About relationship. All those all. things. Um, but I'm still, good. But I'm still <laughs> there. And my specs. My specs is like maybe a six point seven inch yeah, tall. Yeah. No, it, and that's what I am thinking. We should be in like some Porsche or something. You should own a mansion in East Legon or Canton. What do you have? <laughs> uh-huh. That is what I am thinking. You know, so, so I'm also working hard. Mm-hmm. You okay, get it? Yeah, hard. Yes, yeah. I'm also working I'm hard. Working. Come on, let's not go there. <laughs> you see the issue, and, and and I also believe that once we get reading, uh-huh. once we get talking to people, yeah. all these ideas will be shaping. I mean, so that your six foot can become five something. <laughs> I mean, it works. So, I, it works. Yes. It works. Yes. Let's get talking wow. to people. Let's get reading. Let's invest in ourselves. Mm-hmm. I mean, for most of our girls today, everybody thinks that you could just change someone. Yeah. It's not done. I mean, only one person has what that it takes to change, change somebody, somebody overnight. Mm-hmm. But in in our in our youth today, both girls and 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 and, and men. We think that well if i think i want to be with you i have to be able to change you all these things we can learn them yeah, yeah. yeah. so wow thank you very much guys do you have any final words for my viewers i'm sure we are learning something and we are enjoying the conversation as well okay. maybe i should go first this time huh? yes um, <laughs> so i still would want to hit on the fact that we should be talking about this openly mm-hmm. If we are not getting our parents to talk about them, in fact, the Muslims say if the mountain won't go to Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad will. Sorry if I have introduced <laughs> it, but let's talk about them. I mean, in our churches today, the churches are doing well. Some. We have, yes, some of them. We have people who have been designated to talk to young ladies. Yeah, okay. Let's get to talk to all those people. Let's learn the right way, way. rather than want to explore and then get so many experiences and they don't help us in the future and in as much as we are doing that let's also get talking to the holy spirit let's get talking to god he knows what is best for For us us. our best would definitely not be our best Mm -hmm. but his best will meet us at any point point in time wow that's powerful miss hebzeba okay so i think one thing i like to say is as joseph said your relationship with god Mm -hmm. and um the realization of yourself and getting to know who you are through the eyes of God. Mm-hmm. Many people go into relationships because they feel like they are not complete. Mm-hmm. And so you need another person to, to complete, complete you. Mm-hmm. The person is to complement you, not, not to complete, complete you. Yeah. Wow. When God made you, he saw that you were good. Mm-hmm. Like when he saw when he said whatever he made, he saw that it was good. Mm-hmm. So he didn't make you incomplete. Mm-hmm. He only made it in a way that you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't desire to live alone. Mm. But you should also know that by yourself you are enough, and with God you are enough. And your purpose for relationship, you should have, you should really want to have a relationship with a purpose, not because everyone is dating, mm. not because there's pressure on you from family. Yeah. Maybe you want to fulfill destiny. It should be someone you're very, com- and you should know yourself before you know these things. These things. Mm. Otherwise, you now seek a lot of consolation from your relationship yeah. Yeah. you feel like your value is because of the your person spouse. you are dating and then that is what comes with all these unrealistic desires because yeah. you now think okay if it's not a, a 
this kind of person it means I failed in life. Yeah. Yeah. That's what brings the pressure on a lot of the young ladies mm-hmm. now. And then it now brings the pressure on the person they end up dating because wow. they now expect it to be a certain person. person yeah. You are not. You are not. Yeah. Even even not just sometimes they probably have physical expectation, but they also have emotional ones. Yeah. And look at for those things in the guy. If he face the physical we How can make him the emotional. emotional and that's actually not true yeah. so if he's tall and tall dark has some those things are in your mind now your mind is okay he has to be calling me two four seven <laughs> he has to be text you you get to and yeah. you end up getting disappointed Pointed. because you're not satisfied as a person with your yeah, own self yeah it's true and constantly and you can't actually have that and you should also have good um christian figures who are older than you that you that can look up soon. Thank you so so much for joining the conversation. What are your views, guys? What do you think about leading people on and having unrealistic, you know, whatever it is about relationship with Christians in the church today? So let me also know what you think in the comment section. If you would want to watch or see us again, let me also know in the comment section. Yeah, and you'd like to see me. Yes. Let me know. <laughs> and share your ideas with us. Let's know what you, or what topic you would want us to tackle in the next session as well. Thank you so much for making time. I really do appreciate you. Please share this video with a friend and a loved one. And subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for your time again. Don't forget to do your thing and do it. Until my next video, it's a bye. Bye.